Hi guys, Amy Star Allen here, and this is going to be video number three of my email marketing strategies series of videos that I'm doing. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the main strategies that I use with my list, and that is emailing them content that I create each week. So if you follow me online, you know that I, I create a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts. That's my main marketing strategy. So each time I create a new piece of content, I like to email it out to my list to provide value for them. And I recommend that you do the same because this is a way that we can nurture our list and develop a relationship with them. We can become a person of value for the people on our list rather than just constantly letting them know about stuff that you're selling or a promotion that's going on or anything like that. You want to also just be showing up for them and helping them with things that you know might make a difference for them in their life or their business depending on what your niche is, right? So I do this several times a week. I create a new video or a new blog post or something and I send it out to my list. And so it's real simple to do. I'm just going to use a couple of examples from this past week of stuff that I sent out to my list. So this one is called Behind the Scenes, Peek into Our New Member Orientation. So in this case, I did a new member orientation for my personal referrals to the Home Business Academy. And I did like a private Zoom meeting for them. And then I decided, you know, I'm just going to put this up on YouTube because it shows a lot of really cool things about the HBA Funnel Builder that might be good for people that haven't purchased it yet, that want to know more about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up on my YouTube channel. So I put it up on my YouTube channel and my blog, and then I sent it out to my list. Now, just as a side note, one thing that I do in a lot of my emails, not all of them, but a lot of them, is I'll provide like just a little intro and an, a picture. I just like to do that because I, I just like to just connect with my people I feel like, you know, adding a picture of myself or sharing a little bit about my life, not a lot, just a little to kind of keep people in the loop with anything that's happened in my life that week or something. I like to do that. I just, it's my way of being more of a, a person and connecting with my list. And so here, you know, I'm just saying, I hope you had a great week and you have some fun plans this weekend. I just wrapped up a busy and productive week and I'm enjoying the beautiful spring weather in North Carolina. Here's a pic from the very end of the island that I live on, on the mossy jetty. That's it. Just a picture of myself. And then I go on to say what the training is about. Yesterday, I did a new member orientation for some of my new HBA Funnel Builder members. Afterwards, I decided to make it available to everyone because it provides a peek behind the scenes so you can see some of the amazing things you can do with this HBA Funnel Builder and you will get a really good feel for how user-friendly it is. The tool is truly amazing. I'm so grateful for what it has done for my business. If you've ever been curious about what it can do or why our members love it so much, this video will clear that up for you. And then I have a link to the video. So I always put an image like my YouTube thumbnail image, which is also a clickable link that takes people to the video. This is a clickable link. And then I always provide buttons as well, just so that it's really obvious where people can click to go watch the video. So I always have one that goes to my blog and one that goes to YouTube, depending on where people pre um, prefer to watch the video. Enjoy the video and let me know if you have any questions. And so this is basically what I do. Each time I create a new piece of content, I send it out like this. Sometimes I'll add a PS line, not always, but if I have, you know, something that I want to share a little extra besides the content, um, a lot of times I'll put that in the PS line. So here I said, I just created a quick overview video that shows you all of the amazing bonuses you get when you purchase the HBA Funnel Builder with me. So I had just created this new video. So I added that in my PS line, but you don't even have to have a PS line. So this is just my basic format for sending out content. I'll show you one more. Okay, so here's another email that I sent out last week that had um, a video that I created, which was video two in the series that you're watching video three right now. Video number two was a video where I taught how to use stories in your email. So I sent out an email that said how to use stories in your emails and a reminder. Here is, you know, I didn't add an image at the top in this case. I just said, you know, hey, Amy here, this is the second video in my email marketing series, the series was started due to popular demand. In this video, I will show you how to use stories in your emails. This will help you to never run out of content for your email marketing, and it will help you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Watch the video here. So again, this is a link to the video. This is a link to the video. 
watch the video on YouTube, watch the video on my blog. These are all links to, you know, wherever people want to watch the video. So this is what I do. I build my list and then I create valuable content for my list consistently and send it out to my list. And this is the main way that I connect with my people. That being said, you know, if you've watched the two videos before this one in the series, you've seen some of the other types of emails that I send if I'm doing a specific promotion and so forth. But most of the emails that I send are letting people know that I have a new piece of content. And then, you know, again, in the PS line, we had a promotion going on at the time when I sent this. So I was just letting them know that today's the last day to get involved with the promotion. And I had a countdown timer, which is now at zero, but at the time it was counting down. So that was just in my PS line. And that's what I meant when I said, and a reminder. So this is the content. This is the reminder because I had sent out several emails about this promotion. So I was just reminding them. But the main part of my email was just about the content that I had created, a training that I had created for them, letting them know that I have a new video on my YouTube channel and a new post on my blog. So that's it. That's strategy number three is to send out valuable content to your list as often as you can. The main thing that I would say is just make sure you're consistent. You know, if you send something like once a month or you send like four things in one week and then you don't send anything else for another month, you're not going to develop the same level of trust with your audience as you will if you're just showing up consistently, you know, every week and providing value for them in this way. You know, regardless of what your niche is, the goal when you're creating content is to just solve problems for people and help them with with things that they might be struggling with. I actually asked my Facebook group, what's the biggest thing you're struggling with in your business? And most of the answers that I got had something to do with email marketing, which is why I decided to do this video series. So if you don't know what to create content about, you can ask, you know, you can ask your audience or just go to some different Facebook groups in your niche and see what people are asking or what struggles they're having having and create content about that. And then as you're building your list, you can send them that content to help them. So that's what I do. And if you're wondering where you can actually generate the leads to get them onto your email list in the first place, I have a guide for you guys that's going to show you 16 places to gather targeted leads for your business, all using the internet. And I'm going to leave a link to that guide. It's totally free and it'll be below this video. So that will help you a lot to see all of the different places that I generate leads for my business and they're all free. There are also paid strategies that you can do to generate leads, but I, d I do free content marketing strategies. And so I'm going to show you all of the different ways that I do that and all the different places that I generate leads in the guide. So just click the link below this video to grab that and I will see you in the next video.